All right, so let's talk about how the system works. And it's really rooted in um, this question that was asked of me a while ago. So many years ago, I was really frustrated with the lack of pay I was receiving. It was not a livable wage. I was living in uh, Los Angeles where it was really expensive. And I blamed the company I was working for for not paying me enough to live there and work for them. But it wasn't until I read a book, and I forget which book, so I apologize. But I read a book where it asked a question, is your company willing to pay someone your dream salary, or in this case, six figures? And it's like, well, of course, they pay many people that much. Then, And then the second question, the follow-up question to that was, well, if they're willing to pay people that, it's not the company, it's you. And that's when it shifted for me. It's like, oh, the company is willing to pay people that much, but why not me? And that's what really shifted for me is understanding that we have to provide value enough to deserve that 100k plus salary and that is how we get it and so that is the foundation for how this system works we this whole course is based on going or getting away from time focused how much time we put in at work and we shift over to value focused how much value we put into or how much value we provide the company we provide the department the more value we add even if we're not even working a lot, that's what gets us these raises and that's what gets us these promotions. And the way that we do all of that is what I call the MVP formula. And the MVP formula is P plus E plus hips equals MVP. So let's take the, the left half first. So P stands for productivity, E stands for education, and the HIPS stands for high impact problem solving. And what happens is when you combine productivity, self-education or education and high impact problem solving, that converts you into the MVP. And the MVP of course stands for the most valuable player and they're the person, they are the person who will be first in line for promotions, will be first in line for raises and they will be the ones to have the most leverage when it comes to salary negotiations right because they're again adding the most value it's not about how much time they're putting in; it's about how much value they're putting in so let's break down these these uh, the, this formula a little bit more so you have a better understanding of it so again p productivity so the first phase of this course talks about how to maximize your productivity in order to create two to three hours of extra time each day. The second part, or the second phase, education, this is where we take that saved time, and instead of getting off of work early or volunteering for more work, we're actually gonna invest that in our own education, and we're gonna maximize our own skills and even take on new skills if needed. And this will, again, because we're creating the space for it, we're not adding more work, right? We're still getting done within our 40 hours. We're just investing that time in other areas and something called skill-based learning, which is ability-based learning. So you're not just reading books to read books. You're actually reading and learning things that you can actually put into practice and learn very quickly. Then after that productivity and education phase, where we now have an education system installed, then we're gonna focus on the HIPS, the high impact problem solving. This is where we take what we've learned on productivity and take what we can now do with education and we focus, we identify, we focus, and we solve high impact problems. And we create this flywheel where we are constantly uncovering high impact problems, being the person to solve them and own them and then moving on to another high impact problem to solve. And you create this flywheel, this cycle of maximizing value. And if you choose your problems correctly, you will add massive, massive amounts of value to where they desperately need and want to promote you and want to keep you around. And even if there are no openings, they want to give you those raises 
and uh, or at least it gives you enough leverage to be able to demand a raise and deserve it because you can you know go back and show them here are all the problems that I've solved here are all here's the impact that I've had this is why I deserve a different strategy and so that is the MVP formula productivity phase one education phase two high impact problem solving phase three and that will convert you into the MVP that'll create the MVP flywheel and that will allow you to go from this time focus to this value based focus which will absolutely skyrocket the value you're adding to your department and to your company and that is what leads to them giving you the races giving you the promotions or giving you the leverage to demand those raises and promotions and that is how this system works so with that being said let's go ahead and let's get started in phase one productivity and let's make you the mvp of your department